You are just some few tricks away if you want to perfect your retouching skills in Photoshop. In today's video, I will share with you some few tricks I used to get some pretty amazing retouched images anytime I'm working in Photoshop that you can also use to get some great results when editing. My name is Accordity and welcome to today's video. If you're new to this channel, kindly subscribe and don't forget to like this video if you find this tutorial helpful. Now let's get into the video. It is always important to do your basic cleanups to get a fresh canvas to start working on. Take it as preparing your fresh ingredients before you put everything together to prepare your main meal. This will make it much easier when smoothing your skin during frequent separation and will also prevent patches in your skin that are sometimes hard to remove on your texture layer in the frequent separation group. The main idea is to give you a clean canvas to do your main artwork on for a better result. I will now show you a step-by-step -step process and tools you can use to acquire this. So we have our image over here. I'm going to zoom in by pressing Ctrl with the plus key to zoom in to our image. All right, so we're just going to press Ctrl and then J to duplicate our background layer. So we have this over here. So in this case, we're going to use the Spot Healing Brush tool to do this. Yeah, so we're going to brush over the parts that we don't like like this and it's just going to clear any imperfection from our image. So you're going to continue this across her face, just get a clean canvas to work on. All right, so this is how our image is looking now. Let's check the before and after. This is the before and this is the after. As you can see, my image or my model doesn't have so much pimples on the face. So depending on the model you're using and then the condition of the face. All right, so I'm going to show you how to remove or how to do the basic cleanups as well with another tool in Photoshop. This is called the patch tool. So we're going to select the patch tool and zoom into our image. So we're going to circle and then just drag to a much cleaner area. So we circle and then we drag. We circle and then drag. So you're going to repeat this to all the parts of her face that is not perfect until you get a perfect skin. So you circle and then you drag to a cleaner area. Circle and drag. Let's zoom out and check the before and after. So this is the before and this is the after. This is the before and this is the after. So as you can see, these tools do almost the same thing, but just that they are different tools. So depending on the one that you want, you're going to use it to get or to do your basic cleanups. If you're now starting up, try using the lasso tool first to give you an even look when retouching. This is one of the easiest and fastest ways to get smooth skin during your retouching process. This gives you an accurate and consistent skin tone compared to using the mixer brush tool. The mixer brush tool gives you more control over how intense or less intense you want your retouching to look. It also gives you the creative freedom and precise portion you are doing your retouch at. Comparing the lasso tool to the mixer brush tool, it's much easier and fast to retouch and does not require too much skill and expertise to use it if you are a beginner. If you are enjoying this video, kindly like and don't forget to subscribe. So this is simply how to use the lasso tool. So first and foremost, we're going to group our layers into one layer by pressing shifts together with the background layer and then right click and then select merge layers. So we have our layers merged into one. So we're going to come, press Ctrl and J to duplicate the background layer twice. So we're going to hide the first one, change the name of the second layer to color, and then change the first layer to texture. 
Now we're going to hide the first layer, texture layer, and select the color layer. You're going to come to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and then keep the radius at 7 point or say 6.8. And select OK. Now remove and select the texture layer, make it visible. Come to image, apply image, change this to color, keep the channel as RGB, change the blending mode to subtract, change the scale to 2 and the offsets at 128 and select OK. I'll come to the blend mode, then move and select linear light. As you can see, our image is back to how it was before. And let's zoom out and select the color layer. Let's zoom into our image once more. Now let's select our lasso tool. This is our lasso tool. So we're going to circle around the highlights like this. Right click and select Gaussian Blur. So you're going to come to Filter, Blur. Gaussian Blur and then set our Gaussian Blur radius. So you're going to set this to 9.6 and select OK. So you circle around the areas you want to retouch, right click and select Gaussian Blur. Circle, right click and select Gaussian Blur. So you're going to repeat this process to all the face until everything is equally smoothing out just the way you want it right click so if you feel like the blur radius is not enough or the blurriness is not enough you're just gonna come to filter blur gaussian blur and this increase the size or increase the blur radius like this all right so then you go back right click Gaussian Blair. Right click, Gaussian Blair. So just repeat this to all the parts that you want to smooth it out on the skin and then just blur them out. Now let's check the before and after. Let's put this in a group. Ctrl G. But this is the before and this is the after. Now let me zoom out a little bit more. This is the before, this is the after. When brushing with the mixer brush tool, always make sure to remain in the highlights and not spread them into the mid-tones and shadows. Do this to the mid-tones and shadows as well. This will prevent reshaping the figure of the face or any parts you are retouching. Any shape is determined by the contrast between the shadow and highlight and what comes between. The moment you mix them up, the shape changes. So always stay within the tones you are retouching to prevent disfiguring your image. This is an example for you to follow. All right, so first off, we're going to select our mixer brush tool. So we're going to come here and then select the mixer brush tool like this. So we have our mixer brush tool. All right, so as you can see, there's some highlights going on on her forehead. And we have some highlights also going on on her nose and then on her cheekbone as well. And on this side, there's some mid-tones over here. And on her neck as well, there's some mid-tones and some, there's a little bit of shadows on this side. All right, so let me zoom out. Let me zoom in once more. So what we're going to do is we're going to first retouch the highlighted parts. So you select the color layer and then you're just going to brush on it like this. As I said earlier, make sure you don't spill it. When you spill it, this is how it's going to look. This is not the look you want. So you're always going to make sure you only paint or smoothing only in the highlighted part. Now we move to this side. There's some mid-tones going on over here. Can I just paint smoothing it out? 
and on this side as well. And so it moves to the mid-tones on her forehead. And we just brush it in slowly and then on her nose as well. So we're focusing on the highlights on her eye. So now on the highlight on her nose. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to paint gently until all the parts on her face are looking smooth and balanced. So on her eye, the highlights on her eye, this side as well, so a little bit of shadows, mid-tones going on over there. So you're going to continue this to the whole face until all the parts is looking smooth and the retouch is going on nicely. So I'm going to fast forward the side so that you can see how everything blends into it, each other. Make sure to always zoom in and out to check how your retouching is looking. Retouching is a detailed work. You will be zoomed in most of the time and that's where the trick comes in. You might be so focused on retouching one particular part that you might miss how the whole face or portion you are retouching is looking. The only way to get a full and even view of how your image is looking is to zoom out and check. Once you find out any uneven tone, increase the size of the brush and paint over it to even it out. So once you find anything inconsistent, you're just gonna increase or decrease the brush size and then just correct them. Zoom out. Get a reference photo to compare results. One advice I love to give people starting up is to learn from the masters. Accepting that you are a newbie and now starting up is a step ahead of many. Get reference works of your favorite photographers and retouchers and study and practice until your photos look exactly like theirs or even better. Once you get good at it, now play around with your own ideas so you get your own style. This is a master trick I'm giving you to get better fast. These are some of the tricks I use to get some good retouching. Hope this video was helpful. If you want to learn how to do high-end retouching in Photoshop, then click on this video and check it out. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye for now.